Good evening, guys. I thought we'd take a, just a second to go over a problem I've been having with my Canon Vixia HF21 and the solution that I found for it. Alright, so as you guys know, about four months ago I picked up the Canon Vixia HF21. I've been using it to make pretty much all of the live action videos for the main channel since that time. Now the great thing about this camera is that it does shoot in HD. It shoots at 24 megabits per second. The bad thing about that is it makes some really, really big files. And with most file systems, and especially the one that comes pre-installed on this camera, once you get to a certain file size, specifically 2 gigabytes, it rolls over to the next file. Now at the normal quality that I shoot at, which is actually 12 megabits per second, that time comes right about the 16 minute mark. So what I've done here, I've got two video files here, and this was one video shoot. It's one that turned out to be about 17 minutes long while I was filming a news video last weekend. Now the problem, of course, is you've got these two different video files. It really shouldn't be a big deal, right, to take it into your video editor, put one video file, and then the next, and then transition between them seamlessly, right? Wrong. Well, when the camera takes that file and splits it into the second file because it's reached its file size limitation, it doesn't do it correctly. A lot of cameras apparently do this. That's why I'm here telling you this today. Apparently when it does it, it takes the end of the file, chops it off blank, doesn't give it an ending or anything, and then it creates the next file without the proper headers. Now a lot of video editors are supposed to take care of this for you. I've noticed that Caden Live and I believe OpenShot and PTV and a couple of other Linux based ones do not. It's a little difficult to show exactly what goes wrong here because it is such a high quality file, but if I'm going forward in the file, you'll notice here in just a second, the monitor there it goes black. There we go, for just a second there it flashed and then it went to the next frame. If I go back one or two, it should flash black again. Uh, basically what's happening, like I said, it's switching between the two files or getting right to the end of one file and not ending appropriately. And then the beginning of the next file, you see this has a ton of pixelation, just really, really nastiness. Now I've gone ahead and selected this area and pre-rendered it to show you what it looks like when it's broken. So if I run this test file, things a little bit easier to use. Well, the wonderful people over at the you see right there in the center, it goes gray, it goes ugly, it goes grainy, and then the audio goes out of sync, which is not terribly useful. Now the way to fix this, and that's why we're here today, you can take these two files and turn them into one. You see I've already done that. So if you go into your terminal, you go to the directory where you've got your file stored, and then you say cat file 1, file 2, file 3, file 4, whatever you've got. If you've got hours of video in separate MTS files and you want to join them together, you can do it this way if they've been split up in this way. But I've got two files here that I'm going to be concatenating together using cat star.mts with capital MTS because that's what the files came off the camera as. And then I'm going to redirect that output to a raw.mts file. And basically that is taking whatever that I've given it, these two files in this case, and outputting the full final file as one larger one because Linux can support larger than two gigabytes file size. You see when I open this up, it's actually a little bit more than 2 gigs, it's 2.1, 2.2, something like that. Now the great thing about concatenating those files together, it doesn't take terribly long to do, it does use a lot of space because you're taking the full file size here and adding it a second time. But once you get that done, you can add that file back to your project. You see I just, I've got it here, I drug it in earlier, I pre-rendered it for you so we don't have to wait. And now if I run the fixed file that I rendered from it, things a little bit easier to use. Well, the wonderful people over at the XDA. You see, in that one, we did not have that issue. We didn't have that big gray spot, the black spot, whatever you want to call it. Nothing went out of sync. The quality was still terrible, but that's because I rendered it at kind of a low quality setting just to get it done quickly. So basically, that's about it. If you've got a camera that captures at relatively high resolution, once it gets to a certain file size, most likely somewhere close to two gigabytes, a lot of times it will roll over and create a second file. Now the fix for that on Linux is to cat both of those files out to a raw file, a third file of some sort, where it just smashes them both together and gives you something that you can edit, something that does not have that broken section in it. So let me know in the comment section below if you've experienced this before. Do you have any sort of a high definition camcorder, something where you've had to split over to a second file and had it break on you? If this does work for you, please let me know. If there's something better that I should be doing, again, please let me know in the comment section below. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.